Welcome to this video introducing the Grant Solar Thermal Hot Water System. Here, we'll give you a broad or engineer's overview of the equipment and procedures required to fit the solar thermal system. For more detailed knowledge and hands-on training, Grant UK conducts a range of industry-recognised courses, plus a product familiarisation course at their Devices Training Academy. In this section, you'll see footage from training situations combined with images of typical actual installations. This visual mix allows us to show various techniques and close-up angles with easily followed clarity. So we'll look at how you can take advantage of this very lucrative, in vogue, new business opportunity. The components needed for each Grant solar heating installation are supplied in an easily ordered kit form. Typically, a Grant kit will include two or three solar collectors, or panels as they're sometimes called, an on-roof fixing kit, roof anchors, a solar pump station, a system controller, an 18-litre expansion vessel, sufficient solar fluid to fill the system, and all the other specific fittings and connectors needed to complete the installation. We can supply the twin coil cylinder too if required, and of course, you'll supply the copper piping and plumbing expertise. It looks simple, and a Grant Solar Hot Water Heating System really is very straightforward to install. So you're ideally placed to benefit from the growing interest in solar thermal hot water systems in two ways. One, you have all the skills needed to do the work. And two, your customers will see you as the obvious and respected installer, providing you with ready-made selling opportunities. Once you've sold to your customer the benefits of free hot water and buying the Grant Solar Thermal Hot Water System, you'll need to conduct a simple site survey. This survey will enable you to establish the size and specification of the system to provide the level of performance required by your customer, determine where the collectors will be best sited, plan how many collectors are needed, this can be calculated based on 1 to 1.3 square metres of collector per person in the house. Establish what angle the roof is and which way the roof is facing. South is best, but east or west can be okay. And importantly, note your client's choice of frame colour. You must also identify the type of tiles or slates to ensure that the correct roof fixings are specified. Calculate the capacity of the larger twin coil cylinder which will be needed. The capacity of the cylinder can be calculated at 50 to 60 litres per square metre of collector. Establish where the pump station will be sited and work out the overall pipework and plumbing requirements. Around this time, you'll need to talk to your scaffold supplier. He'll need good site access and you'll want to discuss options to provide the safest access to working on the roof and the most convenient way of easily raising the panels. For example, using a pulley block or small winch. If everything runs smoothly, scaffolding should only be needed for a two-day hire. As usual, Grant's experts are just a phone call away, ready to advise upon any ordering or fitting queries you may have. On the day of installation, you'll be confident, having checked that all the components are on site and that the scaffolding is as specified, you'll be ready to go. The first task, so as to get the hot water back on as soon as possible, is to remove the existing cylinder and to install the new twin coil cylinder. You could use any twin coil cylinder, but Grant cylinders are to be preferred as they're specifically designed to get the best out of your Grant solar collectors. The remainder of the work around the new cylinder comprises straightforward plumbing, installing the pipe runs as required. The next job is to install the pump station. This will normally be sited close to the cylinder for convenience, but because the grant system is pressurised, it could be positioned almost anywhere. For example, at some distance or at any height above or below the collectors. 
After this, you install the controller and the electrics. This is very similar to making the boiler connections with which you're very familiar, and with solar thermal involves only 10 connections. In the normal way, as the installation proceeds, you add pipework and connections as necessary. With pipework largely completed, you turn to fitting the solar collectors. These are attached to the roof structure with anchors. You should specify when ordering your kit the roof type, for example a tiled or slate roof, so that you receive the correct fixings. The lower anchors are dealt with first. To fix these anchors, you first raise a tile or remove a slate to provide access to the underlying wooden roof structure. The anchors have multiple pre-drilled holes. These provide spacing options. In all cases, one or two screws or bolts will provide a secure fixing, depending on the anchor used. An electric drill or screwdriver rapidly completes the job. The anchors will support horizontal mounting rails to which the collectors are later fastened, with the anchors being fixed as near to equal distance apart as possible. The bottom rail is attached to each anchor by a T-bolt that locates within a channel in the underside of the rail. Although two or three panels are the norm, up to five panels can be connected in series if required. The upper anchors and rail are fixed in the same way, and diagonally measured against the lower rails to confirm that both rails are correctly positioned relative to each other. With the upper and lower mounting rails fixed, it's time to fix the collectors. On the lower rail, support plates are now inserted to support the collector before fixing. Each collector measures about 1 by 2 meters and weighs 44 kilograms. They're supplied in protective packaging, although the glass can support the weight of 10 men. Aluminium lifting handles can be provided, and these are quickly attached to the panel with the fixing supplied. While two men can easily handle the collectors, to make the job easier, it's recommended to use pulley systems or a small winch attached to the scaffolding to lift the panel to the roof. Some suppliers can loan special lifting gear. With the collectors on the scaffolding at roof level, they're easily manoeuvred into position on the mounting rails. The collectors are then fixed to the rails by means of a simple locking system. An aluminium angle piece is locked into the side frame of the collector, snapped into place and then, using the anchor block and bolt provided, is fixed to the rail. Particular attention is needed to ensure that the correct measurement is allowed between the collector and the end of the mounting rail, in order for the panels to fit correctly and firmly to the rails. When fitting the second panel to the rails, ensure the compression fitting is installed to the pipe to connect the panels together. All that remains is to plumb the panels to the system and attach the two flexible tubes that are routed through the tiles where they'll attach to the new interior pipework. Compression fittings should be used throughout. Now you're ready to commission the system. Using a Grant filling station, the glycol and water solution is put into the filling start tank. The filling station is then connected to the pump station. The filling pump is switched on and it fills the system. The circulating pump in the pump station is switched on. This circulation takes most of the air out and brings the system up to pressure. By opening the bleed valve, the remainder of the air is released from the system. On the pump station, there's a six bar pressure release valve. This can either be piped to an outside drain or back to a suitable container to be reused. The pump speed is adjusted to give the required flow rate through the collectors. The system should now be running at approximately 2 to 4 litres per minute and have a pressure of 2 to 3 bar. This whole process takes as little as 15 minutes to complete. Once this process is finished, you simply disconnect the filling station from the pump station. Now set the controller, set the time and day and set the flow rate of the system. All other settings are factory set. Once all these are done, set the controller on the clock symbol, which is the normal operating setting. And the system is ready to go.
You've now seen how straightforward it is to fit the Grant Solar Thermal Hot Water Heating System. You'll also recognize the very considerable business opportunity that selling and fitting Grant Solar Thermal Systems provides. We at Grant wish you well, and of course are here to answer any queries you may have, and to provide the ongoing support you'd expect from our organization in every other way.